Hello all, welcome to the program. Know your government by New IAS, an initiative where a government scheme is picked upon, elaborated, and is followed by a question which is in line with the UPSC pattern. Today we will look into an initiative or a scheme which is known as Pradhan Mandri Annadadai Sandrakshan Apayan. Pradhan Mandri Annadada Sandrakshan Apayan, or it is also known as PM Asha. PM Asha. Now, this is a program which has been implemented by the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. Now, the key purpose of this program or it will provide MSP minimum support price assurance to farmers. So, when they are going to cultivate a crop, especially the farmers, a minimum support price is something which has been assured as part of this initiative to the farmers. Now, the scheme is aimed at ensuring remunerative prices to the farmers for their produce. So that those people who are involved in the agricultural practices in our nation, in spite of some unexpected eventualities has happening, they are not suffering any key losses, something which has been ensured through this PM Asha initiative. Then, this is a reflection of government's commitment and dedication to our Annadada, Annadada because especially those farmers are playing a key vital and pivotal role in terms of ensuring the food security across our nation. So, as a step of giving back to them, the government is committed towards ensuring that you know their welfare has been taken care in a very good manner. Now, this will cover gaps in the procurement and Compensation mechanism for crops and helps boost farmers' income. So the two angles which this is this program is trying to address is first of all, if at all there are any mismatches related to the procurement system which is related to this, that is something you know which should be tapped upon. One and second thing is also ensuring compensation mechanisms for crops and help boost farmers' income. Compensation mechanisms for crops, especially you know in terms of some unexpected situations is again something which has been taken care. Now, this program or PM Asha has got mainly three key components. Three key components. The first component is something which is known as PSS or Praise Support Scheme. Praise Support Scheme. Second component is something which is known as PDPS. PDPS or Praise Deficiency Payment Scheme. Praise Deficiency Payment Scheme. Third component is something which is known as PPPS. So, first one is PSS, second is PDPS and third one is PPPS. Pilot of Private Procurement and Stockist Scheme. Pilot of Private Procurement and Stockist Scheme. Let us now quickly see the details of each of this component. Price Support Scheme or the PSS is or that would basically involve the physical procurement of Pulses, oil seeds and copra that is coconut will be done by the central nodal agencies with proactive role of state governments. So, if there are scenarios where in which you know for these items the farmers are not able to find the market or sell their products, there will be physical procurement of pulses, oil seeds and copra which is done by the nodal agencies of the central government. One, in addition to NAFED, NAFED basically means National Agricultural Cooperative Marketing Federation of India, National Agricultural Cooperative Marketing Federation of India. So, in addition to NAFED, FCI will take up PSS operations in states or districts. That is, both of them are now going to play a pivotal role in terms of the price support scheme through the component which was mentioned as the first point. Then, the procurement expenditure and any losses you know due to the procurement will be borne by the central government as per the standard usual norms. So, any losses is something which is now will be borne by the central government in the PSS component of the PM Asha scheme. The next component is something which is known as price deficiency payment system. Price deficiency payment system. In the first one, to ensure that the farmers are not suffering any key losses, their produce has been purchased by the 
government related central nodal agencies whereas in this one the physical procurement or the physical purchase of those items are not going to happen but whatever be the cost differences that is something which the government will repay to the farmer so basic is this involves to cover all oil seeds for which msp is notified so all oil seeds for which the minimum support price is notified is been basically coming under the price deficiency payment scheme now direct payment of the difference between the msp that is the minimum support price and the selling or model price so whatever be the difference in prices which is actually happening to a farmer or with the with the farmer is facing upon that amount will be paid by the government back to the farmers under the price deficiency payment scheme so how the government is going to pay is so, you know they are going to pay it straight into the registered bank account of the farmers straight, in, straight into the registered bank account of the farmers and this does not involve any physical procurement of the crops as farmers are paid the msp as well as the actual selling price differences which for which you know they are not going to face any loss so the physical procurement of the item is not going to happen in the price deficiency payment scheme then to support of the central government for pdps will be given as per the norms so the central government us or like in how it have supported the first component in this initiative this price deficiency payment scheme would also be supported by the central government then the third one is pilot of private procurement and stockage scheme so this would basically is been it has been uh, decided that for oil seeds so it is again for oil seeds where they are planning to how this option where in which the private procurement of the stockers especially in the so some of the selected districts they are now planning to how this procurement or this excess stock being kept up by the private related agencies now the pilot district or selected apmcs of district will cover one or more crop of oil seeds for which msp is notified so apart from the government the private agencies are also coming and going to play a role here the selected private agency shall procure the commodity at msp so here again procurement of the commodity is been happening and understand that in this one the procurement will be done by the private agencies and whenever the price in the market fall below the notified msp so in the scenarios where with the price in the market is been falling below the msp is when the uh, private stockers are going to purchase the item one or second thing is you know you know there can be some strategic interventions which has been suggested by the government so in those scenarios also something where in which they are going to take this or or to procure this item now maximum service charges up to 15 percentage of the notified msp will be payable to this private stockers by the government so this can have an additional well benefit that you know probably especially in the large inventories of the government mechanism says so probably like fci there have been a lot of wastage of the of the procured items is something which has been seen as well so in all those things or to avoid all those things the government is now trying to inculcate a private element as well in the procurement part of this one then the other existing schemes so there are basically some other schemes like first one is the department of food and public distributions for procurement of paddy the procurement of paddy which has been done by the department of food and public distribution then not only paddy wheat and nutri cereals or coarse grains so paddy wheat cereals and coarse grains which has been now procured by the department of food and public distribution and ministry of textiles they are procuring for cotton and jute so that to separate procurement Uh, will be continued for providing msp to the farmers for these crops so understand that in this one the key component which is going to be procured is something which is related to the oil seeds whereas the pre existing procurement mode wherein which department of food and public distribution purchasing or stocking up the paddy wheat cereals as well as the coarse grains as well as the ministry of textiles doing the same for cotton and jute will be continued in the similar fashion without any 
changed. Now, if this is been implemented very effectively and well, the new system may help revive the rural economy by assuring better income to the farmers. So, if the system has been implemented well, there is a huge potential for our farmers to get good and better incomes. Now, unlike the current system where farmers repeatedly go for the few crops such as paddy, wheat, sugar cane, where MSP mechanism is much effective. Now, when this new scheme has been implemented on a very large scale, they may ensure crop diversification and which would play a key role in reducing the stress on both soil as well as water. Because government is now helping the farmers to purchase other oil seeds as well. So, apart from the standard normal crops which the farmers are, uh, are going to cultivate majority of time, they would now have the avenue to uh, try and test the other crops as well. Then, the commitment for farmer welfare is also reflected by unprecedented decisions of announcing the minimum support price based on the formula of 1.5 times the cost of the cultivation. So, the last point has got basically nothing to do with the scheme, but that is again something you know which we have to understand that the government is playing a key and pivotal role and in terms of supporting the or, or with the objective to support the farmers, they have uh, set an idea that the MSP would be 1.5 times the cost of the cultivation is also something that the government has been doing. So, what are be the mode through which we could support the farmers is something which is being envisaged and done through this PM Asha initiative. Let us now see a question which is based on PM Asha. Pradhan Mandri Annadadai Sandrakshan Abhayan, Pradhan Mandri Annadadai Sandrakshan Abhayan, seen in uses related to first one, ensuring remunerative prices to the farmers for their produce. There is a high possibility that that can be the answer. But let us read the other options as well. Second one is provision for fertilizer subsidy and crop insurance to the farmers. So, this is a scheme which is going to benefit the farmers, but definitely not through the idea of fertilizer subsidy and crop insurance. Wrong. So, the second statement is wrong. Third one is avoiding market saturation in agriculture through irrigation upliftment techniques. No, this scheme has got nothing specifically with focus upon the irrigation upliftment part, which is again making the third statement as well wrong. So, B wrong, C wrong. D is financial protection to oil seed and kharif crop farmers during natural calamities or climatic cause eventualities. So, this scheme is not something which has been mainly focusing upon the financial support for the climatic cause eventualities. So, which is again making option D as well wrong. So, B wrong, C wrong, D wrong and we are reaching at the correct answer as A ensuring remunerative prices to the farmers for their produce. Thank you so much.